Good afternoon, televiewers, and welcome to the 3.30 p.m. Prime Flash on My Media Prime Television with me, Eileen Sama. We're going to begin with this uh, human interest uh, stories. We start in the West region where a, another road accident has uh, occurred. The accident occurred early this morning around 5 a.m. alongside the along the Batie uh, Highway in the West region, leaving three persons seriously injured with one losing one of his legs, according to reports. The accident involved two passenger buses and comes barely two days after a fatal one involving another passenger bus and a truck left about 53 dead and 29 seriously injured in Chang, still in the West region of Cameroon. We now move to the southwest region where at least 10 people have survived another road accident this morning along the Kumba Boya Road in that region. Reports say one person was injured after efforts to stabilize the car by the driver failed, causing it to topple off the road. The driver of the vehicle explains that the accident occurred while they descended a hill at slow pace with the car suddenly jerking uncontrollable, adding that the accident was not caused by negligence nor overspeeding. Members of the Cameroon Community Media Network Lithera branch today held their first network meeting for 2021 in the Douala focus on fine-tuning strategies to catch up on lost time in 2020 caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. They will also frame up a plan of work for uh, 2021. It is worth mentioning that much light will also be shared on the role of uh, the peace journalists in humanitarian reporting and community development. They also are planning to come up with ideas to change the narrative as well as involve policy makers and stakeholders into the humanitarian needs of targeted populations, especially at the grassroots level. St. Leonard Health and Research Institute or Foundation has successfully sent out seven students as the first batch of graduates from its community health care program. The graduation ceremony which took place at the esplanade of the foundation's premise in Bobende was presided over by the divisional officer for Limba II subdivision, Serge Mark Ebel. Reports from Cameroon's eastern region say uh, many building construction projects have been abandoned by some contractors after receiving an advance of money to realize them. This revelation was made during the evaluation meeting on the FACOM financial project of the east. This human interest story, a student of uh, the University of Wan uh, Guaykele, Yaoundé University Wan Guaykele, whose name we got as Mikel, was reportedly killed by men of the underworld. Mikel was a student at the Faculty of Science. She was tapped in the neck by her murderers. Investigations are on the way in Yaoundé to trace uh, the perpetrators. Out of the country, Moroccan King Mohammed the Sith has launched the country's uh, nationwide coronavirus vaccine campaign, getting his injection at the Royal Palace in the city of Fez. Vaccines will be free for all Moroccan citizens and foreigners living in the North African Kingdom, according to a statement from the government. The campaign, which will take place gradually, targets people aged 17 and 75. It should be noted that the country has registered one of the highest COVID infection rates in Africa and has confirmed 469,139 cases with 8,224 deaths since the pandemic's outbreak. In Kenya, an Irish mountain climber is reported dead after developing breathing problems while climbing Kenya's highest peak, 
Mount Kenya. The 40-year-old man developed breathing problems in one of the stopovers Australian hurt and was evacuated by a rescue team to a nearby campsite before being uh, lifted to hospital. He is reported to have been in a critical condition and was pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital according to the Kenyan Wildlife Service, KWS. The father of one of the school girls uh, adopted in uh, Shibok, Nigeria, has spoken to his daughter amid reports that an unknown number of the girls had escaped from the abductors as reported by the BBC. The man said his daughter confirmed she had fled together with other captives during fightings. Those who managed to escape are believed to be in Maiduguri, the capital of Borno State in northern Nigeria. That concludes a prime flash on my media prime television with me, Eileen. Some of the news was produced by Johnson Vola. Thank you very much for viewing details on the stories and more will be yours at 6.30 p.m. during Prime News with Blanche Peldrin King. Many thanks once again for viewing. Stay tuned to more amazing programs coming up on my media prime television. I wish you a happy weekend.